Today marks one year since nearly 100 people were killed when a condo collapsed in the middle of the night in Surfside, Florida. 98 people lost their lives and that 12 story building came crashing down at 1:22 in the morning. Today at that same time, loved ones of those killed gathered at the site where the condo used to stand. They lit torches in honor of the lives lost. One of those torches is to stay lit for about three weeks, the same amount of time it took to get the last victim out of the rubble. Also today, First Lady Jill Biden traveled to Surfside for a community-wide memorial event and thanked first responders who worked tirelessly in the wake of the tragedy. And as we gather, we express gratitude for this community, the firefighters and first responders who bound up wounds and spent weeks working to recover your loved ones. and what caused the collapse that continues. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joining us live. Marilyn, this tragedy sparked some changes to Florida law. You know, it's been said that this disaster could have been prevented. Just last month, lawmakers unanimously passed laws that would promote safety for these condos. And I spoke with experts in HOA safety who say they hope it's enough. It's one of the deadliest collapses in U.S. history. Captain, the Champlain Towers building collapsed. A year ago Friday, Champlain Towers in Surfside came down overnight. 98 people were killed. Hundreds of reports reveal years of problems with the condo never addressed. They, they had a $3 million repair in the beginning. In 2018, it was a $9 million repair. And in 2021, it was at $16 million repair. David Rauch is an HOA safety expert who says as the price for repairs went up, the damage got worse. And of course, the ultimate expense at Champlain Towers was a loss of life. It took Florida lawmakers less than a year from the collapse to pass condo safety reforms. The law requires statewide recertification of condos over three stories tall. Recertification will be required after 30 years or 25 years if the building is within three miles of the coast and every 10 years after. Rauch says it's a good step. But he says there should be more inspections more often and that developers should be required to give a maintenance manual to show how, when and what to maintain. Other high rises do it, but it's costly and could make it harder for developers to sell units. And that's why Florida just passed this law. The developers are very powerful. They have a big voice in the legislature. And uh, that's that's the that's the problem. The new law says condos must have sufficient reserve funding on hand to make necessary repairs. The associations would also have to give inspection and safety records to prospective buyers and renters. We're told the investigation into the cause of this collapse is going to take a few more years. Until then, Rauch says he hopes to see new laws to help prevent this from ever happening again. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.